Good morning. This is the 9th of June and the year 2022. Uh, so I am so happy this morning that I can speak life into your life. Well, what a wonderful privilege it is to me. And uh, this morning I had something in my mind and it came to me because many people, you know, they go to church and they do right things. But, you know, there's a word that I remember as a young boy, and that's the word to be saved. I wonder how many people that listen to this video today are really saved. So what does it mean to be saved? I remember once in my life, I was a young man. I was a physical training teacher. I was very strong and I had muscles at the right places. So uh, one holiday, I remember, we went down to the sea. At that stage, one of my subjects being a physical teacher, a training teacher, was also life-saving. So we did life-saving. You know, the normal life-saving and not the ones in the sea, the normal life-saving in rivers and maybe in swimming pools. Those things, you know, we've been trained to do that. But then one day I went to the coast and I thought, you know, I was a good swimmer. I could do 20 lengths at a time. So I was quite fit. And during that time, you know, I was swimming. And just before I could get myself, I was, a stream took me into the, to, 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 into this, uh, into the sea. And uh, when I looked around, I saw the shark nets just behind me. And I realized I was in deep trouble. And being a, a strong swimmer, you know, I started to swim. And I said to myself, well, you can swim. But I was going against the stream. And I was wasting all my energy. And I realized for myself, I'm not going to make it. I need a savior. I need somebody to save me. So I was quite proud, you know, of how will it look if a young boy will come and save this strong uh, gentleman. And I shouted to somebody which was not very far from me and I said, I'm in trouble, call the lifesaver. And the next minute, a young boy, he dived in, he's got one of these yellow plastic stuff and he came in and he said, hold on. And I held on and he had uh, his uh, gear on and he took me out amazing experience everybody was happy i was saved today you know what i was trying to say i couldn't save myself you know it was just impossible i would have would never have made it i wouldn't have seen today if it wasn't for a young boy who went in to save me me and you we need a savior in life because you know this world is very bad and we need somebody to take us out of this world to a new world as simple as that me and you, we need a Savior. And there's only one Savior. His name is Jesus Christ. I'm going to read you something in Romans today. And I'm going to read it from the Amplified Bible. You will love this. Listen to this. It says from Romans 10 verses 10. For with the heart a person believes, right? He adheres and trusts and relies on Christ. And so is he justified, declared righteous, acceptable to God and with a mouth he confesses that means you declare openly and speaks out freely his faith and confirms his salvation so what am I saying with your heart you believe and with your mouth you confess what does it mean I remember <coughs> being a young boy growing up in a church wonderful place I never actually did it until one day so what happens is whenever you want to get saved, you need to believe in your heart. Believe that there is a Jesus Christ. There is a Savior. He did die. He eventually, He died for you at the cross. And then He came to save us. So you need to believe in the Son. You need to believe in the Savior. You need to say, Savior, I need you. Because you're the only one that can forgive my sin. All my sins can be forgiven. But only one person he that was the Lamb of God that died for me and for you. As simple as that. So you need to believe it and then you need to confess it. So you've got to make a statement on earth. Whatever statement you make on earth, it is bound in heaven. Isn't that wonderful? So somebody in heaven writes the date, writes the time. So whenever you're going to get there, this day will either be counting for you or against you. So let's do it. I'm going to do it. Are you going to do it with me? I'm going to pray. And then I'm going to believe with my heart. Don't pray it if you don't believe. And I'm going to confess with my mouth. 
then I will be saved. So will you be saved. Okay, it's worth it. Right, shall we pray? Heavenly Father, I come to you just as I am. I know that I'm lost without you. I need a Savior in my life. I'm a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I need Jesus Christ. I believe with my heart that Jesus Christ is my Savior and that He can help me, can, can heal me, and He will bring me into righteousness with God. Thank you that I can confess it. Thank you that I know that Jesus died for me. Thank you. I believe it with all my heart. And I declare it that I am a child of God today. Thank you. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Now you've got it all. I believe you said it. Maybe said it to somebody. Maybe who needs it. Today can be the defining moment for some people that you know of. Send it to them. Share it with them. May you have a wonderful day. Remember that Jesus loves you. And remember that the best is yet to come. Bye.